Yes. Um, there's some been some things going on personal life and with our shop. Um, I'll get into that once we actually get into the video. Um, as you can see here, we have Digimon Story Lost Evolution, the DS game that never came to the U.S. I do want to give the shout out to Operation Decoded, who actually translated all this and provided the patch so we can actually sit down and play this where we can read it. I've, I will preface, I've started this game a little bit just to see if it works, and it does work as far as I'm aware. I apologize for any um, audio issues, any weird clipping and everything. I'm working on how I actually want to record this. Um, but while we're getting this all set up, about the locals thing and replays. Um, so replays will be coming back. I'm not sure when they'll be coming back. Um, as our shop has had to move locations, they're currently looking for a new place to set up. So, don't know when I'll be able to record again. For those locals videos, so hopefully this will keep you guys entertained in the meantime. But I do have plenty of BT11 content planned. I'm just going to go on ahead and say this. This looks so much better than World Dawn and Dusk did. I don't like the design of the main character so much. I do prefer Ko and Seo's designs. But overall, the overworld so far just looks so, so good. Um, I'm not going to be reading any of the dialogue. Um, you guys can read that yourselves. Um, as I just want to go into this blind... Okay, so something's crashed into the hill. And, okay, so there's some sort of celebration going on. Something's crashed into a hill, and I'm guessing this Hiroki character, I believe her name is, the one in the green that's blonde is gonna drag us out there. Oh, that's a guy? That's, okay. Hiroyuki, okay. What the fuck? Calling him dumb immediately. So, just from the beginning with how much dialogue there is, I'm already getting World DS vibes, and... I don't really like World DS's intro. It just felt so handholdy. I much prefer Dawn and Dusk where they throw you in much sooner. God, these sprites look so good. Oh, that's a little... I didn't even notice that path there. Yo, there's a fire in the background. Is that supposed to be further on the hill, or is that supposed to be the tree on fire? I can't really tell. So I don't know how long these particular episodes are going to be. Probably going to cut them up into maybe 15 minute chunks. And re release them like that. And I'm probably just going to sit down and record for an hour at a time. A fallen star. That is clearly made of metal. What the fuck is this guy on?
And I'm also not sure how often I'm going to record these or release them. Um, it just depends on how much you guys want them and how quickly I can get them out. Really. Dinosaur. Oh, so he's wishing for a dinosaur on the spaceship. So he really wants a dinosaur. That's pretty cute. Finally, someone points it out. There's this dinosaur. <laughs> and of course he starts freaking out. Yeah, these characters remind me much more of the group of friends you have in Dawn and Dusk so far. But this whole intro thing is so much more reminiscent of DS. Oh, that Agumon Sprite is so cute. It's actually different. From the Dawn of Dusk one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that's different. Or at least the chat sprite is. I know the overworld sprite is the same. So he has the Digivice and is looking for a tamer. That is... The premise is quite different than how DS and Dawn slash Dusk threw you in. Oh, that encounter music brings back so much, ma so many memories. The music in these old DS games are just so good. Is their name's really going to be Uno, Dos, and Trace? I'm assuming there's three of them because there was the purple haired girl on the title screen. Her name is Tress. So they're leaving a Digimon here in the human world? Oh, there she is. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, so we just automatically become the tamer. We don't even get a choice. Okay, we actually did get a choice. I assume it's going to pigeonhole us into fighting with him, so just go ahead and do it. So, I assume these guys are going to be minor antagonists? Holy crap, this is different. This whole interface is different. I wasn't expecting this. We have an auto battle function? It looks like... This is... So... I'm gonna say this, I liked the DS one. Where it was on the side of the screen better. Same how it was in Dawn and Dusk. But I like the icons of this better. I feel like if this was on the right hand side of the screen and up and down like it was in Dawn and Dusk, it'd be better. Oh, and that HP bar moves so slow. I'm having platinum flashbacks. Am I not using... Okay, I am using MP. How much does Pepper Breath cost? 2 MP? One hundred bit, 10 EXP. Do they not have the elemental EXP system? Why are they all coming back? can't really blame them for their curiosity, but Hiroyuki is like, I don't know if he's just so gung-ho, ho, or if he's gonna be like, characteristically naive. So we all just get sucked into their escape ship.
What? I assume she's touching Numamon. Okay. That sound effect is reused from Dawn and Dusk. I remember it because it's when, like, the little purple egg dude shows up. I can't remember his name. What in the world? So we're on North Bridge. Oh, so you press the escape button, genius. Where are the others, though? I assume they're still on the ship. Okay, I like this guy. Kind of funny. I wonder if it's the Digivice I see. Like it was in DS and DOS. So, yeah, I'm gonna give Agumon a name. Let's just go with what I've always named these Agumons. Uh, a little backstory behind the name. Um, I was playing through World DS when I was younger. And I just started entering syllables. That's where I came up with half of these names. Okay, so we gotta go meet up with Agumon's friends, and I'll set us on our story. Okay, so the top screen is, um, more akin to World DS than it is Dawn and Dusk. So I really, I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, there's an encounter. I didn't realize this encounters would start now. Oh, they redid the plant logo, or insect and plants separated now? Okay, that one shot. So I think this is a good place to end episode one, just going through the beginning part of the tutorial. Okay, so you actually can't see the Digivice, but from the artwork shown on it and the Digivice logo here, I think it is the Digivice C. I see. I do like how in Dawn and Dusk you can see it on the bottom screen though. Is this going to take forever to save? Okay, there we go. 
And let's take a look at our Obimon. Okay, I like that it's in a list. It's not as colorful as it was in the other games. I wish they would have color-coded these. That's fine, I guess. Oh, Dragon is now cryptid? Okay. Max level's 20. Uh, he is still Dragon Family. Carefree. Everything there looks familiar. So they do have equipment. Again. Oh, you can auto equip. And they have trades back. Okay. Geo Greymon as the default that's really weird usually geogramon is the alt all right guys so i think i'm gonna end it off here um so if you guys want to see episode two sooner please like subscribe and let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video.